Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to cook a nice dinner because you don't have a meal plan we're gonna make some spiral pasta and also some broccoli to pretend we eat healthy. Step 1 get the brock out of the fridge don't forget to take off the plastic wrap cause nobody likes eating plastic except for mice. Step 2 flip the broccoli so it has a good time. Step 3 annihilate the broccoli I did not cut it very well and it got cluttered at the end because I am bad at planning. Don't be bad at planning, annihilate your broccoli correctly. Step 4 oh yeah, don't forget to boil the water or else you'll just have cold wet broccoli. Take the lid off the pot, that part's not that hard, and dump the broccoli in. Spill some on the stove top so your kitchen smells like burnt broccoli for the next 8 days. Pick up the failed broccoli and put it back in the pot cause nobody's gonna notice that. Step 5 put the lid on the pot like the human being you are. If you leave the lid off it's gonna take five and a half years to boil the broccoli. Step 6 clean up oh my god please clean up. If you don't there will be little broccoli nuggets everywhere and they are disgusting when they're dry. Use wipes or paper towels or something because the broccoli nuggets also get stuck to the sponge and make you want to yuff. Step 7 check on that brock. If it's done give yourself a thumbs up. If it's not, put the lid back on and let it continue doing the boiling dance. Step 8 Take the pot off the heat and turn off the stove so you don't waste energy cause nobody likes an energy waster. Step 9 Drain that broccoli. Step 10 Put the broccoli in a bowl. Struggle with it because the spoon thing is too flat. Pick out the stalk you accidentally left in there because you weren't paying attention. Step 11 Wash out the pan unless you want your pasta to taste like broccoli. If you really love broccoli that much. Then don't wash the pan I guess. Oh, also wash the cutting board and the knife because they'll be on your conscience all night if you don't. Step 12 Get out your pasta. You can use any pasta except the pasta you hate. Also charge your phone because it's almost dead from its day at college like you. Step 13 Pour in the pasta. Appreciate all those bubbles. Step 14 Give the pasta a nice little stir and put the lid back on. If you don't the pasta will turn out weird. I once knew someone who burnt pasta and I don't know how but they probably didn't follow my directions. Then 5 mins hob whatever that means. Sometimes your pasta gets a little angry so you have to take the top off to let out the bubbles. Step 15 when the pasta is done. Take the lid off and drain your pasta. Steam your camera up in the process and hope you don't damage it. Also make sure you drop it in the sink. Step 16 Physically fight with the refrigerator to get out the butter. God, all I wanted was butter and all I get is lettuce. Oh there it is. <laughs> Step 17 Now you have to fight the butter because it's cold and hard like a rock and ice and some other things. Step 18 Stir the butter into the pasta using only one hand. Appreciate the sexiness of the pasta. Okay that's enough. Step 19 get yourself a plate unless you wanna eat off the table or something. Now that the broccoli is nice and cold and inedible, you can put it on the plate. Step 20 choose your weapon wisely. Step 21 drizzle way too much balsamic vinegar on the broccoli so it tastes like something other than sadness. Step 22 yum. <laughs> 